Hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Roma Revolution. I'm Ben and there has been a slight change of plan for today's episode. Now I did say in the last episode and on Twitter that we would be back for the first knockout round of the Champions League against PSV but an opportunity has presented itself beforehand that I couldn't miss. You may have seen it already, but the Italian Cup quarterfinal has sprung up a Derby della Capitale against Lazio. So that is on today's episode and will be followed by a clash with none other than top of the league, AC Milan. Now, these are two games that could really shape the success of of our season because since you were last with me for the Galatasaray and Bologna wins we've been on a pretty good run of form we beat Brescia 4-2 and followed that up with a 3-0 win over Frosinone Sassuolo we lost or drew rather one all a 94th minute equaliser by Alberto Cristiano saw a win snatched away from us but we bounced back with a 2-0 win over Torino that sets up today's quarter-final in the Italian Cup. We then beat Genoa 2-1 in the league. A late goal from Amadou Diawara securing that victory. But we were unable to get past the big team in Juventus. A 1-0 victory for them. Cristiano Ronaldo with the goal. And that therefore means that going into today's episode, we are five points behind table toppers. AC Milan. We're level on points with Napoli and only one point ahead of Juventus in the race of the top four. But we are a mere eight points ahead of Lazio. So Champions League looks secure, but there is still the chance that we could win that City A title. And today's game against AC Milan will be huge towards that. But first, it's the Derby della Capitale in the Italian Cup. And this is the team that we're going out with. We've got Paolo Lopez in goal, a back four, Abua, Tadebo, Mancini and Melanda. Tonali in behind, Riccardi, Cristante and Pellegrini in midfield with Almada playing behind Esposito. Now, the eagle-eyed of you may have noticed a name on the bench that is new. We're in the transfer window and Deot Upamecano has come to Roma. £38 million, the fee that we paid for him in instalments, must I add. He made his debut against Juventus in a slightly different system that didn't work. He's come in long-term to play alongside Mancini, but for now, he'll sit on the bench. With him coming in, there have been a few going out. We've lost Gisante, who was a youngster. He's gone for two million. Mert Setin left to China for 10 million. He forced a move away from the club after becoming unhappy with his playing time. Leonardo Spinazzola left for an initial 34 million pounds, which will rise to 42 million. He wasn't getting in the side over Florenzi and Bua. We've also got Wagu on loan, so we cashed in on him. And Maxime Gololens, he's gone for four and a bit million. Again, he wasn't playing and wanted out of the club. So all that meant we could get our man. And what a signing it is. We're hopefully looking to bring in a couple more, but they're not quite here yet. And therefore, we won't quite show you to jinx it. But let's get stuck into the Lazio game. A massive game, obviously, the board expecting us to reach the final of this competition. So can we do it? We're going to assertively say if we've got the option to, to get better. We haven't from the last game. So let's go out and say to put on a worthy display for the media. As always, we've got faith in the boys. The assistants off to the tunnel. And here we go. We're going at Lazio. We're attacking them early. And that's is the plan. But Lazio with the first highlight of the game is Omoradzic in the midfield being pressed. It's back to Regani. Omoradzic on the ball again. Lazari with Correa outside and Correa fires wide in the second minute of the game. A slow start for a team that are looking to go out and take it to Lazio. But the chance is missed and now we do have a bit of a chance to get ourselves back into the game and start to get a foothold over a Lazio team who are obviously well below us in the league and one that we'd be looking to beat in the Derby della Capitale to make it through 
to the next round of the cup. Not much so far, but Pellegrini whips it towards the back post and Tadebo with the header, I think it was, just heads over. A massive chance from not far out for Tadebo and now from the resulting goal kick, Omalajic and Aserbia playing along with the ball with Digna on the left. Luis Alberto in the middle tries to fire a ball out wide, but Miranda is wary of it and he has been brought down, but it's not been given as a foul and Miranda slightly out of position now has Lazari on the Right, Mancini tries to tackle, he can't, Correa with the chance, it's just over, Miranda looked like he was fouled in the middle of the park, nothing given, and a counter-attacking chance there from Lazio, the ball in again, it's fallen to Bukhair, Omaladic, and it is Lazio 1, Roman Il, Lopez caught in no man's land, really should have done better, he's miles off his line, and Omaladic can just nod over the keeper, and it is 1-0 in a game where we haven't quite performed at our best we need to be better and this is a game we need to be winning but no one's turned up on the day and Lazio with a chance to go to it's a close effort from the free kick from Fernando and that is a first half that has been extremely poor and hopefully the wheels are not coming off like they did last year on a season that so far has been really good but a chance Right from the off is there of this second half. Buo on the right. Is he going to try and take on his man? He stalls for a second. He's got to get rid of it before it's taken off him. And he just about does. Cristante plays it to Pellegrini. To Almada on the edge. To Riccardi. Miranda cutting inside. He can't quite get across him. But he's got the ball again. Has he been taken down out there? I'm not sure. We're going over to review some footage by the looks of it. Miranda was taken down in the box, was he? I think he was then gathered the ball on the edge of the area. It was inside the box. Is this a penalty to get us back in it? It's not. And I'm not too sure what we're going to have here. We've got nothing. A wasted highlight by the looks of it. But we're back on the ball. Riccardi on the edge of the area. Plays it to Glastante. To Tonali. Miranda with a chance to cross. He's worked his way to the byline. There's a foul given. We're going over to VAR again. Are we going to get the penalty this time? Miranda was surging into the area. It's Lazari again who's made the foul. This could be another no penalty. I have a feeling it is awarded this time. Miranda wins the penalty. He goes past his man and is tripped. And it's Almada with a chance to make it one all in a second half that started well. He hasn't. He's got a chance on the rebound and he does that time. The penalty hits the post. It might have been saved by Vanja, but it's fallen straight back to Almada. And on the rebound, he slots it home. It's not saved. It just pinged off the post. And it's a difficult chance. And he's taken it well. And that has levelled the game at one all. And the second half has certainly been better for us so far. We just need that to continue and to nab the winner in the last 20 or so minutes. We're going to make a couple of changes. A couple of players out there not playing as well as we would like. Esposito, the main one so far. He's going to come off for Victor Fischer up front, who's returned from injury. It'll be good to get him some game time. That's the only changes we'll make for now. We just need everyone to step up their game ever so slightly. And a chance now for us to attack before the substitution is made. Almada surging forward. He surges even further and it's just over the bar. Almada looking really bright in that role. He's had a couple of off games, but he looks back today. Pellegrini plays it short to Almada. The man himself, Pellegrini, back to Almada on the edge of the area. Out to Riccardi and acres of space on the right. Surges forward and Alessio Riccardi makes it too. The youngster who's been uh, ever present in the team alongside his mate Boer on the right. Pellegrini to Almada. Riccardi in acres of space. He cuts inside and simply slots home into the far corner. It's Roma 2, Lazio 0. A fantastic turnaround in the second half. And can we pile on the pressure? Fisher with a chance to take on his man. He plays it back to goal scorer Riccardi. Fisher on the left. Plays it across to Boer with the effort and it was almost a double youngster Roma boys. But it wasn't quite to be. And with 15 minutes to go, we are in the ascendancy of the game. We just need to see it through. Miranda slugging for a bit of fitness. So we'll get Lorenzo Valu on for him. Another young Roma original that's the only sub we'll make for now. Everyone's just stepped up their game in the second half and it's told. We'll ask for a bit of creativity to finish.
And can we just see this one over the line? Lazari with a free kick. Is this going to be a Lazio chance to put in a late equaliser? Or can we nab it off them high up the pitch? Alberto on the edge of the area. Lazari, who's caused problems on this side. It's a great block from a Memphis Depay chance, I think that was. I'm not sure who it was in the middle. It'll either be Mancini or Tadebo, but it's a fantastic block. And it's kept it at 2-1. And we have a chance now. Riccardi with the header almost his second, only just wide. A really good bit of defending in there. I'm not sure who it was, but it was an awesome block. And that could be the one that sealed us the game as time ticks by. There's a late, late highlight. This could be a killer for us. Riccardi's on his man. He's beaten to it. Memphis Depay in the 95th minute. Oh, what a gutting chance. We had it all in our hands. Value misses his challenge. Riccardi does the same a couple of times. Depay is free. Lopez should be saving that. And it means we go into extra time in a game that we really should have been winning. We're going to get aggressive. We're not pleased with what we've seen at all today. We're just going to make a couple of subs just on a fitness basis. Boomer not having his greatest game. Florenzi can come on for him. Pellegrini as well. He's struggling for a bit of fitness. So we'll get Diawara on for him. And then we'll switch Riccardi and Diawara over. And we just need that one goal to see us through. It's a massive killer. It's a confidence killer at the end of the game. But can we go out and put it behind us and just nab a goal that would surely win us this tie. We've not seen much in the first half of extra time. And we've now got an injury to Cristante. And I think with all subs made, we can't make another one. We're going to stick with what we know. Tonali's going to come into the midfield as a three. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to see if we can see it through. An unfortunate man to lose, but... I now just feel we need to make it through to penalties in a game that was snatched away from us at the end. Ten minutes left of extra time. Can we grab the winner? We've not seen anything of either side in extra time, but is there going to be late drama like there was in normal time? It's looking unlikely, and it looks as if the Italian Cup quarterfinal, the Derby della Capitale, is coming down to penalties. Can we do it? Let's have a look then. Fisher's going to go in there. Florenzi's going to go third. Riccardi fourth. Tonali fifth. Diawara sixth. And the rest can sort itself out thereafter. Can we do it then? Penalties it is. They're up first. Orsolini versus Lopez. Orsolini steps up. And Orsolini is saved. What a start from Paolo Lopez in the goal. Almada, who scored earlier on, not from the penalty spot. Chance to redeem himself. Here he goes. Almada slots home. And we are up early in the shootout. Fernando, I believe this is for Lazio. Can Lopez do it again? Here we are. It's a straight down the middle. It's one one on penalties. Victor Fischer been missing for half of the season with injury. Can he redeem himself with a goal? He can't. It's saved. And it's all square in the shootout. Memphis Depay next. It's going to be a tense one. Can Lopez save? He can't. It's a well-taken penalty. And I feel now Lazio are in the driving seat with not many penalty takers to come for us. Florenzi steps up. And Florenzi scores another well-taken penalty. The keeper goes the right way. But Florenzi does beat him. Nickel now for Lazio. Lopez in goal. He's nowhere near it. And it's coming down to the last couple of penalties. Young man Riccardi scored already. Can he score from the spot? He can! We're still in it. It's 3-0. What a tense shootout this is. Correa steps up. The fifth penalty for them. He scored. And now it lies all on Sandro Tonali, vice captain of Roma. A chance to keep the shootout going. I feel he may well 
miss this. There's just something in my mind that says it. He steps up. Tonali, it's saved. Lazio win the quarterfinal. A game that we should well have taken. Depay in the 96th minute. Only five minutes added on. We feel a little bit robbed. But we're not pleased with that result. And form really needs to turn round for the home game against Milan. And I'll see you for that in a second. Okay, I can already see what people are writing in the comments about this one. But hear me out. He may be an old man, but he comes in with a winner's mentality. We were a bit short at centre-back. He wasn't as expensive as he would have been a few years ago. Yes, he's on high wages, but he can do a job for us for a season or two. He didn't cost too much. He was around the £5 million mark, I believe. Uh, 5.25, I think it was in total. £5 million exactly. So there we go. Been at Madrid for years. Played 22 games this year. Been really good for them. I feel like he might just be someone who could see us over the line this season and make that little bit of a distance. Yes, he's 35, but Sergio Ramos is here. He starts today as well. We've gone for a little bit of a change up a tactic. Cristante is suspended, as is Tadebo. So we just thought we'd change a few things a little bit. We've gone five at the back. Miranda, Mancini, Ramos, Upamecano and Florenzi. Paolo Lopez in goal. Riccardi, Tonali and Pellegrini in midfield with Almada behind Esposito up front, who does need to get his shooting boots back on. This is the biggest game of the season so far. This could be a season-defining moment. If we can beat this team, AC Milan, obviously topping the league, it could be the step we needed. We come into it on a bad run of form. It's got glimpses of last year when we also went on that really bad run around January, February, obviously being knocked out of the Champions League, falling behind Juventus at the top of the league. So this is massive if we're not going to let the same happen again. We need to pick up from last time and fingers crossed you can. We can do the events team talk. We lost to Milan earlier on in the season. Let's go out there and put on a performance that is worthy of potential champions. We're at home. We're going positive, not quite attacking, but can we do it? Can we get at Milan and put three points on the board that would put us only two points behind them. Napoli have already played. Juventus have already played and both won. So this game is huge. And that was an early chance for Milan that looked destined for the net. But it was new man Sergio Ramos, old man Sergio Ramos, who was on the line to clear it away. And the first 25 minutes have passed. That's the only highlight we've seen. We look like we're doing a lot with the ball. We just need to bury it in the back of that net. And fingers crossed we can before the game is up. We would still be five points ahead of Lazio even if we lose. But that's not where we're looking at. We're looking up, up above. We want to finish a top City A ah, come the end of the season. And there is a late highlight in the half. And it looks like it's going to fall to AC Milan. Kessie on the edge of the area. Has one shot. Has a second. It's hit the post and come out. And it's hoofed away for a corner. We've not seen anything of us. We've seen plenty of AC Milan. And Almada just has the opportunity to hoof clear. It's nil-nil at half-time. It's been a fairly uneventful half. But we're assertively going to say that we're not happy. We need to see much more of us. And fingers crossed we can. We just need to step it up that little bit like we were for previous games. I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to go for it. This is a game that I feel we have to win. I feel... With the way we've been playing, if more results are dropped, more points are dropped, I don't think we're quite going to make it to realise the aspirations that we obviously had. 65 minutes gone then. We've not seen much of the second half at all. So it's time for a couple of changes. Florenzi's going to go a bit more attacking on the right. I made him supporting to start with, but it's not quite paid dividends. Esposito having a rubbish game again, so Sheik's going to come on for him. Zaniolo on for Armada and this, a change up top. Is this a change for the better in the game? Can we 
grab the goal. We're going to demand more. We're playing okay, but we haven't seen a single highlight in our favour. And as time ticks by with 50 minutes to go, it's starting to look like we might not see anything at all. One final change to be made. Miranda not having the best game on the left. Also struggling for a bit of fitness. So value can come on for him. What can we do here just to change things up a little bit? We're going to go very attacking. We've got to go for it. We're going to make Riccardi and Mazzala on attack. We're going to make Tonali a playmaker on support. We're going to go for it. And we're going to see if we can grab a goal in the final six or seven minutes that would see us win this game. We've dominated the possession. We've converted it into a good number of chances, but we're into added time. And it looks like the poor run of form continues. It's a nil-nil draw against AC Milan. It's not a loss, but we're starting to fall behind them, Napoli and Juventus above us in the league. We're going to get aggressive. There is work. Certainly to be done. Ramos not bad on debut. Upper Meccano better than his first start. And looking at that, six points separate ourselves and Lazio. Five separate ourselves and AC Milan. Are we just going to miss out once again? And is it going to be because the end of the January month has ended with three really poor results? We'll be back imminently. We've got Benevento coming up but we'll play that game offline and we'll be back for the Seoul derby against Napoli another massive game and the first leg of our knockout round in the Champions League against PSV the season's not over yet but we need to pick the form up for it to be back on track but I do hope you have enjoyed today's video and if you have please leave a like down below for me subscribe to the channel for more football manager content and thank you all for coming along and watching